Hey everyone, welcome back to Growth Fiends. I'm John Timmerman. Today we're gonna talk about content marketing. One of my favorite topics because it's what Good Monster focuses on 90% of the time, all day, every single day. And there's a reason for that. It is incredibly valuable as a marketing tool and a tool to get your brand out there. But before we dive into it, let's talk about what content marketing is. A lot of people will tell you content marketing is blogging and email marketing and using content within your website. But at Good Monster, we categorize it as any type of content that you use to market market and grow your brand. Pretty self-explanatory. And the reason we kind of group everything together into content marketing as a definition is because it can include so many different platforms and types of media that are out there today. Social media is content marketing. Email marketing is content marketing. Blogging is content marketing. So really any type of content creation, any type of content, white papers and articles and, and all of that is all content in today's day and age. There's one thing that we don't categorize as content marketing, and that is paid advertising. And there's a reason. It's because they both are viewed differently from the standpoint of the consumer. Content marketing by nature is organic, helpful, valuable, entertaining. You're creating content that is consumable. Whereas advertising is a push marketing. You are interrupting people trying to deliver your message and sway them to want to buy your product or your service or digest your message. So they're inherently different. They're consumed differently, therefore we categorize them differently. So let's go back to content marketing. There's a few really key reasons why content marketing is an incredible way to grow your brand in today's day and age, and really one of the main things you should be focusing on when that's your goal. And the first most important, most simple reason is time. It's the limitation that of time that people put on themselves. People are busy. They make themselves busy in 2019 and 2020. We're just busy people. We fill our schedules with so much and we don't have enough time for things that are not a priority. And so when we're over scrolling on social media or searching for something on the internet that we're looking for and we see a piece of content, it's gotta be really, really good in order to catch our attention. So that's why content is such a big focus of ours and should be such a big focus of, of yours is it pulls people in, it educates them, it entertains them, it provides some sort of value to them versus advertising. It's really hard to get an advertisement to be valuable. The other reason time is the key to content marketing is because you as an advertiser or a marketer, you don't have as much time to make an impact either. You need to make sure that in the first couple milliseconds, you're making some some sort of value proposition to that customer. And so time is one of the main reasons why content marketing is so important. Limitation on the consumer side and limitation on your side, the brand side or the agency side. You have to make do with a fraction of the time that you used to have to advertise or market to a client and content marketing is one of the best ways to do that because it inherently provides value or entertainment to the client or the customer or the consumer. Uh, therefore, you're gonna pull them in versus is interrupting them. The second reason is noise. There's an incredible amount of noise out there because all the other brands and all the other people are also trying to market their content and advertise. And so on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, really on a minutely basis, we're getting hit with tens, hundreds, thousands of pieces of content a day. And so you can't rely on one advertisement, one TV commercial, one newspaper ad, one Facebook ad. You can't rely on one blog post to drive in a bunch of results, whether it's traffic to your website, calls to your business, feet through the door, sales, you cannot rely on this anymore. And so with all this noise out there, creating a content marketing system and a content funnel is so important. The bigger, the better, because you have no idea who is going to see what and when. And so if you rely on one big piece of content, you're missing all of these other people over here who never even saw this piece of content. But if you create tens or hundreds of pieces of content, well, you might get different people to see different pieces of content and you'll pull them in to hopefully drive sales and traffic and whatever else. The other reason why content marketing is so important in today's day and age is the technology. The technology exists 
to create an incredible amount of content incredibly fast. I'll give you a really low kind of feet on the ground example. I create content every single day for my LinkedIn channel and YouTube, and it's not in this format here. This format is more produced. I have an editor, he's awesome, Roger, good job, buddy. Uh, he makes these things amazing. But I actually use my phone every day. I film myself, I use an app called Premiere Rush, a couple of graphics, I pull those in, and I create daily videos and put them out on my LinkedIn and social media channels. It is that easy. I do it in less than an hour every single day, and it's incredible because I put out content more than pretty much all of my other competitors and colleagues, and I do it all by myself. Then on top of that, I have these produce shows that my team edits and they produce graphics for, so they're creating content on top of my content. So I have this whole huge content funnel, and the technology allows us to do that on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, easier than ever before. So let's get down into the nitty gritty. How can you create your own content marketing machine to drive business results over the course of this year? Let's get started. So step number one, you have to create your brand and set goals. I'm not gonna get into this too much in this episode because this is enough uh, material for a whole other episode, which I'll definitely do, do one on soon. But creating your brand, so that's your logo, your colors, your voice, your mission, your message, all of that stuff. Creating what your brand is, what it looks and feels and sounds like. You need to do that before you start content marketing, otherwise your message that you'll be marketing through content won't really be consistent and it won't do a great job at growing your brand. The second part of that is you need to make sure you're setting goals. So before you get into content marketing, what is your goal? And you can't have too many because you can't satisfy them all at the same time. So is your goal to get website traffic? Is your goal to increase sales? If you want to do both, that's great, but you have to realize if you're driving tons of traffic to the website, you also have to optimize your website to get converted conversions. And then those conversions are going to either email you a request or buy something. And then you have to measure how that's working. So there's a lot of pieces between website traffic and sales. There's a lot of pieces that have to get set up between those two. So I would try to set one singular goal at a time for your content marketing, perfect that, then move on to the next one. So one major goal would be website traffic. If your goal is e-commerce, or you're doing a big digital play. Once you get a ton of website traffic, once you get hundreds of thousands of people visiting your website, measure all of that, then figure out how to convert more people. So that's your second goal. Once you start converting more people, then figure out how to get them as a repeat customer or a long-term client. That's another goal. So segment your goals, but Regardless, step number one, set up your brand with your goals. Step number two is what we call recycled core content. This is a system that Good Monster uses with a lot of our clients to really maximize the amount of content that we can put out on a daily basis. And it's really simple. Step number one is to create a core piece of content. That can be a TV commercial, that can be a blog post, that can be a podcast. It can literally be anything that's a little bit longer form content. You spend a little bit more time on that core piece of content. Then you take that and you pull out all the types of micro content you can from that core piece of content. You pull out little quotes for quote cards, cards on social media and you design them in squares and vertical so you can share it on Instagram and Instagram stories and Snapchat. And then you pull out a little bit that you can maybe run as paid advertisements. Then you pull out some information that you can write as a blog post. And then you have somebody talk about what's in that blog post on a podcast and on and on and on and on. With one core piece of content, you can produce hundreds, possibly even thousands of pieces of content if you have a really good strategy, you got a really smart team, and you get really creative. The recycled core content system is amazing for companies that really wanna put out a ton of content quickly while maintaining a good brand and quality of content. Next, you absolutely need a distribution system because if you're creating hundreds of pieces of content and you're just throwing it out there without any real plan, you have no idea what's already been shared what hasn't, what's working, what's not. So you really need to have a distribution plan. You can be as simple as just using a Google Sheet and using the cells to kind of plan out what days and what hours content's going out and on what platforms. Super easy. Otherwise, you can go find a software program out there. There's a bunch of them where you can use to organize your content and make sure things are scheduled and approved. It really depends on how small or large your team is and how much content you have going out. And the last thing, really one of the more important things once you have all this set up is to set up an analytics system. You have to measure all of this so you know what's working. Now with the smaller teams, this isn't quite as important. I get it, you're stretched really thin and just putting out content is a huge step for you. So if you're like a lawyer or a dentist, 
you know, you're, you're a solopreneur or it's just you and a small team around you, but they're not marketers, really just get in the habit of putting out content because that all in itself is going to bring you a huge amount of value just because of the FaceTime that you're putting in with your social media or your digital channels. But as you start growing your content marketing system and you start growing that machine, you're going to have to start measuring what's working and what's not. So you can piece together your software programs to measure social and digital and email, and that'll get you really, really far. But once you get really big, you're gonna wanna start compiling all this information to get an idea of what platforms are performing well with your content, what content is performing well on which platforms, what times and days all of the information that you're going to want to start measuring to really fine tune your content marketing program. Once you start scaling this up, you are going to have a long term sales and business development and generation system that frankly, you're not going to be able to turn off. It's going to be awesome. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of Growth Fiends. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you come over and check me out on my podcast. Search John Timmerman on my podcast if you'd like to listen to uh, this type of content while you're going to work or working out or whatever it might be. But anyways, see you later guys. Peace.